This tutorial covers language localization in the dialog system for Unity. We're going to add some localization to the demo scene. Edit your dialog database and go to the Templates tab. In the Dialog Entries foldout, click the plus sign and add a field named ES for Spanish. Set the type to Localization. Then go to the Quests foldout, add a field named Display Name ES and one named Description ES and set them both to Localization. If you tick the Main checkbox, custom added fields like these will appear in the Main section of the Inspector. Then go to the Actors foldout and add Display Name ES. Now if we look at one of the dialog entries, we can see that the new fields are not present in the existing dialog entry. To add them, you can click the Template button here or go back to the Templates section and select Menu, Apply Template to Assets. That will update all of the assets in the dialog database with your new template fields. Now we can start to add those Spanish translations. To save time typing, I'm just going to paste them in here. If you're using the Dialog System add-on for OpenAI, instead of manually entering the translations, you can get OpenAI or Llama to automatically translate for you. Now go to the Quests section, tick Use Display Name. We'll copy the name into the Display Name field and paste in the Spanish translation. Then we'll do the same for the Description field. On the Actors tab, inspect Private Heart, tick Use Display Name, and notice here that we did not tick the Main checkbox, so this field does not appear in the Main section. Instead, you can expand All Fields, where you can find all fields that are in an asset, and paste it in here. Now you can imagine that this would be quite tedious to manually click around and paste in all of the translations. You'll probably want to export all of the text into a spreadsheet, perhaps send it off to a translator, and then re-import it once it's all translated. To do that, go to the Database tab and expand Localization Export Import. This section has a lot of options that you can hover over to read the tooltips, but for now we'll just go with the basics. We'll be exporting for Spanish localization, so click the Export button. Select a folder where you want the spreadsheets to go. For each language, this will create three spreadsheets, one for actors, one for dialog entries, and one for quests. If we take a look at the dialog entries spreadsheet, you can see how it's organized here. To test this out, I will just add one translation in and save the spreadsheet. Then back in the Dialog Editor window, click Import and specify that same folder. Let's make sure that that imported properly. We'll go to the Conversation and check that Dialog entry. The Dialog system can also handle localization of your UI elements. To demonstrate this, we will localize the label on the Continue button. Text that's outside of the dialog database, such as the Continue button's label, is localized by means of a text table asset. So select Create, Pixel Crushers, Common, Text, Text Table. Open the text table, add a language with the language code ES for Spanish, and add a field for Continue. Change the language to Spanish and enter the translation. The gear menu provides a lot of options such as exporting and importing text tables also to CSV. Now assign that text table to the Dialog Manager's Localization Settings Text Table field. Set the default language to ES. 
As the dialogue system runs, whenever you set a language, by default it will save the most recently used language in player prefs. That player prefs value will take precedence over any settings here. So to reset that, click Reset Language Player Prefs. And now to test the Continue button, we need to make sure that we're going to show it, so set Subtitle Settings, Continue button to Always. The last step is to set up the label on that Continue button to be able to be localized. Inspect it and add a Localize UI component. This component can accept its own text table and a localized fonts asset if you want to use different fonts for different languages. But if the text table field here is unassigned, it will use the Dialog Manager's text table. If the field name is unassigned, it will assume that the content of the text, which is continue in this case, is the field name. That's what it'll look up in the text table. And let's give this a test. We can see here that the dialogue is translated, as is the Continue button. And the quest content is also translated. If you add fields in your text table for some of this UI text, including the active and completed labels and the new indicator for quests, the quest log window will use those translations from the text table. That covers the dialog system's built-in localization. However, the dialog system also supports localization using Interillusion's i2 localization and Unity's localization package as well as localization built into third-party editors such as Artisy Draft. And that concludes the localization tutorial. Thanks for watching.